Right, Toby? Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. You're not real slow. Oh, gotta. What do you mean? I'm proper old fella. Only young fella drive fast. Huh. We gonna go looking at country? Yeah, we going now. Nah. Long way past the hill. That's not a hill. That's a kettle truck. What oh! What oh! Where that hill then? Might be even run away. <laughs> <coughs> Well, I hear come with me. Where in a go? What I show you something proper flash. It must be here somewhere. What a Jabby? You'll see. Come on. <sighs> Jim? Whoa, what's that? It's the special thing now I've been telling you about. Bro, let's go. Come on, this place is too scary. Hey, right, hey, right. I was wondering when I'd see you again. It's been many years. Who's that with you? That's my grandson. Oh, hello. I'm so glad you came with him. Now listen, you must get this old man to hospital. Why? Because he's nearly blind. Yeah, I know that. But did you know he has a disease called trachoma? Trachoma? What's that? Well, it's a disease of the eyes. When he was a young fella, he didn't look after his eyes properly. He's got a germ called Chlamydia trachonatus in his eyes. Whoa. His eye not big enough for a germ that big. The germ's not really big. It's tiny. It's only got a big name. You know, eyes are very important to us all. They come in different sizes, shapes and colours. But they all do the same job. They let us see. We need good eyesight when we play games like football. And for people living next to the salt water, they need good eyes so they can spear fish. Got him? Even people living in river country need good eyes for hunting, especially if they're going for cherubim, because the best time to go is when it's nearly dark. Trachoma is very infectious. That means it can be passed on to others really easy especially to babies and small children. Always wash your hands and face with clean water. Never share towels. Keep your house clean. Put rubbish in bins with the lid on it. This will help keep the flies away too. 
If you wake up with sore or itchy eyes, go to the clinic and get them checked. If you do have the trachoma disease in your eye, the health worker can give you medicine to make it go away. Some old people like Jubby got trachoma when they were very young. In those days there wasn't much water for washing and there wasn't as many doctors and health workers around. You've got nice bright eyes, kid, compared to your grandfather here, who's had trachoma for years. Now he's got scars under his eyelids that pull his eyelids tight and make his eyes look small. Sometimes it will pull the eyelashes down so they scratch his eyeball. With the eyelash scratching the brown bit, the cornea, it will hurt his eye a lot and make him go blind. That's why you can't see, Jubby. I can see a little bit, but it's like I've got sunglasses on. Hey, we gotta go, Bonan. Jubby's gotta get the Toyota back before tomorrow. Okay, okay. But you remember, young'un, you look after your eyes. If someone in your family has trachoma, you should get your eyes checked regularly because sometimes you can have trachoma and not even know. You can catch it off the old man here really easily. Wow, thanks for telling us that. This disease is no good. I'll make sure Jubby gets his eyes checked and I'll keep my eyes really clean. And I'll have checkups too. Thanks. We'd better go. Come on, Jubby. See you, Banan. Hey, Banan. I didn't come here for a school lesson on my eyes. I wanted you to give me some good luck in cards so I can beat these young fellas. Oh, you're just too cheeky. I can't give you any luck. You can give yourself luck by getting yourself to the doctor and getting your eyes fixed before it's too late. Then you'll be able to see the cards better. Now go on, off you go. See you next time. Come on, Jabby. Okay. See you, Panan. When my eye been fixed up, I'll show him you will how to play cards. Come on, Jabby. I already know. I always beat you. <laughs>